My favourite traditional board game is backgammon and there's a great version of it available for CPM on the Warner Creek CD. So uh, this version was released in 1986 by David C. Oshel and I'm demonstrating it here on the Commodore, one to, uh, on the Commodore 128 because by, by default it's configured for an ADMA 3A screen. So that works uh, that was fine on the Commodore 128 and it also has uh, an additional benefit to running it on the Commodore 128 in that Gammon 4 uh, supports uh, some extended graphics, uh, character graphics which um, can be which are meant for the K Pro but again the Commodore 128 emulates that screen so that I can get the extended characters as well which I'll uh, switch into now. So if I press the G command and you can see how the stones have become graphical or uh, replaced. So it's a nice little game. Uh, we'll uh, press P to start the game. And the uh, first thing that you can see is that this game is a little bit different because it's set in uh, set on another world. And you're given a choice of three characters: uh, Louisa Perini, Anthony Villiers and Tor of the Trog. Uh, each of them feel slightly different when you play them and uh, people have different opinions about which player is, uh, is harder, but that probably comes down to playing style of that person playing them as much as anything else. So if we uh, continue and I think given the choice we'll go for, um, we'll go for Anthony Villiers. SV and there we are was loading. It takes quite a long time to redraw it at the start, but once the game gets going, it's okay. Right, so you can see the doubling cube in the center, or in the bar, or on the bar. And uh, right, okay, so uh, I've got, so I've rolled uh, one and four. So I will probably go um, 24 to 23, and I'll take my 13 to 9. Okay. There we are. So Anthony's made his move. Um, and uh, and then the game continues. So I'll continue to roll uh, five four. So um, thirteen nine and eight. Okay. So the game will just proceed. Each of us taking our move, and uh, it's quite a nice clear display. So um, certainly with the uh, the graphics mode, it is. It's a little bit unclear uh, when you don't use the graphics mode. And I'll demonstrate the doubling cube, so I'll double here. Now I'm going to roll. Right, so um, six and four left. So roll six and four. So if I want to move from the bar, uh, type bar, and then I have one choice here. Right. Right there. 
that makes more sense. Sorry, I was looking around the other way. Okay. And I want to go to, I've got five now. Right, so I think I'll forward this a little bit and then um, and then we'll see how we get on uh, a little bit later towards the end of the game. Well, considering I've made some terrible moves here, it's surprising I'm doing as well as I am. Right, here we go then. And we start peeling off. I should probably double at this point. Oh yes. Well, he was right to call me a dummy, I guess. But despite his calling me a dummy, I'm still going to win. And the last one. There you are, brilliant. So uh, that was that one. So as you can see, uh, Gammon 4 is a great little backgammon game. And um, despite my bad play, I still managed to uh, beat Anthony Villiers. Uh, but I think he was a bit unlucky a few times. And, um, and although this is configured for the uh, ADMA uh, ADM, sorry, ADM 3A terminal, uh, you can easily alter it either by patching the COM file or recompiling the included C source code, uh, which can be recompiled with the software tool work C80 compiler. Uh, the, um, the source code recommends version 3.1 of that compiler. So uh, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy seeing Backgammon being played, and uh, Gammon 4 being played, sorry, on the Commodore 128. And uh, do have a look at uh, the other YouTube videos on the Tech Tinkering channel. Uh, there's lots on there about CPM and CPM games. And do have a look at the Tech Tinkering website as well.